Welcome to part two of I See Bling. and you're watching April Nicole Design. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make little rosettes, like this little thing here. These rosettes, I personally like to call them Jessie Buds, named after the fabulous lady that taught me how to make these. And that lovely, fabulous lady happens to be my grandmother. I actually use this technique in my senior project for my senior fashion show when I graduated college and I was really happy that my grandmother got a chance to see what I created from what she taught me. Maybe I'll show you my fashion show maybe a little bit later in a different video. In order to create these Jessie Buds, you need a pattern. It's a simple circle. You can use anything circular that you have around the house like a bowl or a glass. I used a tin can, the kind that cookies come in and the kind of tin can you find at your grandma's that you think cookies are in, but actually sewing supplies are in there. Yeah, that one. This pattern piece is five and a half inches long. I cut this out on a piece of cardstock. The bigger the circle, the larger the bud. Once you cut out the pattern piece, cut two of the circle pattern in the fabric of your choice. I chose a black and white gingham print cotton blend fabric. You want to try to use lightweight fabrics for this project. Go ahead and thread a needle. You will be using a single thread stitch. To start, fold down the right side of the fabric onto the wrong side of the fabric about a fourth of an inch. Sew a basting stitch all the way around the circle while folding down the fabric as you go. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. The bud will gather up as you sew. Once you get to the end, pull the thread until it gathers up. Try not to pull too hard or the thread will break. The seam that you stitched should be on the inside of the Jessie bud. Secure the stitch and cut the remaining thread. <laughs> 